What's up, fishies? Duck King coming at you. Yeah, I look an absolute mess. Sorry. Still trying to get over the throat and sinus issues. Um, but wanted to talk to you real quick about the importance of helping get lost pets home. You know, recently we've had a couple videos, you know, introducing you to Benji and Miss Cricket and got me to thinking that, you know, we need to clarify a few things. First and foremost, you know, always check, like if you see a pack of dogs running or something like that, you know, try and get a picture of them. Um, if, if they are a nuisance, they are dangerous, you know, they're trying to attack people or other animals, call your local animal control. Um, some situations you may have to just call the police department to be able to get to animal control to have them come take care of the situation. Um, but check on Facebook for your city's local lost and found pets group or page. Uh, Chigashe has one. Uh, actually, I think we have one or two actually. And because pets do tend to get out, you know, they get bored or see another dog and decide, you know, oh, I want to go play with them and out they go. Um, and it's important to make sure that a pet gets home, uh, even like after a natural disaster, you know, pets can get misplaced, you know, even just a very severe thunderstorm, you know, dogs that are outside can and sometimes do run off. And the thing you got to remember about that is they have a home. You know, I know that, you know, oh, they're so cute, they're so lovable, you know, I'll just give them a home. Well, that's not always the best idea. You know, they could have a home that they actually want to get back to. They may have fun at your house, but they still want to go home. And, you know, that happens a lot. So, you know, it's important to try and locate the dog's home. Um, if you have a dog that keeps coming to your house that, you know, is super friendly, you know, just lovable as can be, take it to local vet, shelter, and ask them to check for a microchip. Because it's getting to be a really big thing about microchipping your pets, and it is something that definitely needs to be done. Benji is microchipped. So should something ever happen and he get away, he can be located and brought home. And that's another important issue to think about is microchipping your pets so that they can come home. And I and I love and I've done it myself. I'll admit it. You know, I've taken a dog in and been like, you know, oh, this is your new home, bud. And had them for years you know but you can't always do that and you really shouldn't you should try and locate their home first because you know there may be say a special needs child and that pet is what keeps them calm you know that's something that you really got to think about uh, I have a few friends that have special needs children that have pets that that's their companion that keeps them calm <coughs> and that's what you got to think about you know it's it's not just making sure that the pet is taken care of it's making sure that they don't already belong to somebody that desperately needs them uh, take mom and Benji you know Benji is mom's little buddy you know he he helps her emotionally and that's you know 
there's people like that out there, you know. I mean, technically, you could classify Cricket as my emotional support buddy. <laughs> Even though, you know, she kind of gets on my nerves some days, but, you know, that's a typical kid, right? But, you know, check with your local, you know, get on Facebook, check local groups for missing pets, you know, lost pets, stuff like that, before you go call an animal control. I mean, if it's a desperate situation like kids are being attacked, things like that, then yes, absolutely. Call animal control immediately. Um, do not try and take matters into your own hands unless it's absolutely necessary. Because you can get injured, uh, somebody else could get injured as a result of you trying to intervene. Um, let the professionals handle it to the best of their ability. But like I said, you know, check Facebook for local groups in your area for lost pets. Um, you know, do your best to see to it that a pet gets home to their actual home. Um, and I understand that sometimes that may not be the greatest of ideas. You know, it could be an abusive home. But at the same time, there is a chance that that could get exposed in the process and you could save a dog's life. But, I mean, it's, it's important to make sure that, you know, lost pets do get home. Um, and I know that's a hard thing to do sometimes, but it is the right thing to do, especially if it's an emotional support animal for a small child or special needs adult even, or just anybody, you know, you wouldn't want your pet in and up somebody else's house, you know, if they're your emotional support animal and really, you know, we treat them like our kids, but at the same time, they're our support system. So keep that in mind, you know, and hopefully, hopefully, fingers crossed that I'll have the health issues wrapped up and we'll have nice weather this weekend and be able to get back to filming. Uh, we've got quite a few things coming up that, you know, I'm wanting to try to do, uh, maybe doing a few more with Bong, never know. I know she gets a kick out of it, uh, but we're going to try and get back to regular filming. We've got, hopefully, hopefully we'll be able to make the full 13 week shoot and then we'll of course go for our fall slash winter break. And hopefully this time it won't be as long as the last one because <laughs> I don't see, foresee problems like that again. So. Until next time, from my son and Miss Cricket. Much love. Have a blessed day. Rock on. And we'll see you next time. Peace out, y'all.